Hey gang, welcome to the video review for Transformers Reveal the Shields Rekgar. Now this version of Rekgar is a dirt bike. It is not the weird Cybertronian motorcycle from the original 1986 movie, but this is a nice rendition of Rekgar. I really, really like the paint scheme on this, in this mode, and, well, yes, other figures can ride him. So, as you saw, Prime valiantly riding Rekgar. Yes, other figures can ride this. I've done a couple of figures, Scourge, Cyclonus. Uh, the only one I wasn't able to get on here was um, oh, uh, an Iron Hide that I had sitting around. And uh, Voyager, or I'm sorry, yeah, Voyager Lugnut doesn't look too good on him either. He does have a, uh, a shield or a uh, reveal shield here, and it's right here at the top of the, at the, top of the bike. And unlike some of the other shields, this one's just about perfect. So, in this mode, I have one major, major fault. And that is, there are pegs here. The handlebars that connect to the trees here. These are called trees. Um, they don't stay on too well. And I think that's a problem with the... The holes actually being maybe um, just very, 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 just slightly too small. I'm sorry, slightly too big for the pegs. That might also ha have something to do with the fact that the bike is... The, the transformation's weird. I'm not going to lie. It, it's really unique. And just to give you an idea, this whole part up here form the legs. Everything else down here, this... Form, the section that I'm covering, all of this that's exposed right now form the legs. All of this form the rest of the body. It's a really interesting transformation, which let's get into. First thing we're going to do is come back here and remove the, the uh, exhaust pipe from the side of the vehicle. This folds out into Rekar's axe. And as a weapon, I really like this. And I love the fact that it has the clip, because you could clip this onto anyone then. The rest of the transformation is actually pretty complex, especially considering the fact that the directions suck. Hasbro, for the love of God, fix your directions, please. First thing we're going to do is come under here, pull this out just to unpeg it, and then rotate it. What I was doing, for those of you that weren't paying attention, and yes, that hissing sound were my cats again. Take the rear wheel, unpeg it, and then fold it up to the side of the seat in motorcycle mode. Then we're going to take the rear of the seat and actually pull it, and that will disconnect the front of the vehicle from the triple trees, and then we'll split the gas, what the section between the seat and the gas can apart. We'll take the seat, fold that out, and fold it all the way out, and this will form one of the legs. Then we'll take this section, which is the gas tank and the front of the vehicle, we'll actually fold that all the way out to form the other leg, and the peg, there's a peg right here that actually connects nicely into a hole there. The front of the vehicle will actually fold up and just push it. And what that'll do is that'll collapse the leg, exposing the foot, and we'll actually push the handlebars apart. And that stays together pretty good. Next, we'll take the what well, will be the foot and rotate it around. Unfortunately, mine's gotten a little loose. When you first do it, this does not want to fold up at all. Coming to the uh, the crotch the crotch area, we'll actually take the two bits of the two halves of the figure and connect them together. Now, this connection is strong. It's one of the strongest, like mid connections I've seen on a figure. This is not coming apart easily. Then we'll just pose up the legs and get them, get everything situated such that we can pose the figure later. Uh, now I do have a few niggling issues with this, but we'll get into that in a second. For the top part of the torso, we'll rotate it such that the the chest plate is pointing forward and we'll actually flip up the head. The head's just kind of sitting down there. You just fold that up and it locks into place rather nicely come along to the back here and we'll split apart what will form the arms taking the wheel with one with the figure's left arm 
and we'll just swing that around and it'll peg into place. And then we just get everything in order, just pulling the arms down and flipping the fists down to get them into place. Now, the reason I really dig, one thing I really dig about this figure is there are pegs here that the figure's arms peg into. And that's a nice, that's nice. I'm really happy that Hasbro and Takara bothered to do that. They haven't on past figures. And that's been a big pain, but they did here, and I'm really glad they did. Unfortunately, Rekar suffers from a Hunchback of Notre Dame syndrome a little bit too much for my liking. I really don't like that, but ah, what are you going to do? The other thing I find a little bit annoying is he is side-heavy, especially on the left, because you've got both of the robe or vehicle wheels hanging off the figure. The other issue I've had with this figure is his, one, his legs, or his feet, I should say, are on ball joints that don't always line up. So sometimes I end up with like one leg that's a whole quarter of an inch, or actually I should say an eighth of an inch difference in length. You just have to play with it. His axe is very nice, and it really adds to the figure. It looks good, and it can fit just about anything uh, from the re Reveal the Shield line. Heck, he can, even, he can even easily hold Prime Sword, and he still looks pretty cool. The face on the figure is 100% Rekgar. I absolutely love the face. I think the sculpting on the face is wonderful. It's just perfect. The rest of the figure is 100% Rekgar. He looks kind of thrown together, just like a junkie on wood. I mean, he, he has a specific style that is all his own, but he does have that kind of cobbled together feel that junkions do. I'm really looking forward to a repaint just so I can have another, I can have him riding the other junkion. I'm really looking forward to that. Though everything pegs together well, and though everything holds together well, I just feel a little bit sad. I know that sounds weird. I'm really happy this figure exists, but I just feel that Rekar should have been given so much more. Maybe that's just me being a complete and total tool. That's entirely possible. But I figure that Rekar should have been given a little bit something more than his treatment here. I don't know why. It just feels weird to me, and this whole figure feels off. That's not to say he's a bad figure. When I first got him, he was incredibly frustrating because the directions were terrible. I actually had to watch other people transform him in order to get him transformed, because just things just did not line up for me. But he's really grown on me, and I am happy that he was made. So that's always a good thing. And I'm really glad that we got a movie figure that got, that's been given a reimagination. Like I said, though, I just feel like he deserves more. I just have a heart, I just have a soft spot for Eric Idle, what can I say? So getting him back into vehicle mode is not... Jeez, kitty, come on. Cats, come on. I'm reviewing Rickar here. Oh, uh, one thing that I do have to mention. These aren't ball joints on his hips, but they're still a little loose. So to get him back into vehicle mode is actually, for me, it was a test in patience. I mean, really was a test in patience. The first thing we got to do is rotate the fists 180 degrees. Um, you'll see why... It, if we don't do this, there's not going to be enough clearance in the vehicle mode, which I'll show you here in a second. So we're going to unpeg this, but we're going to collapse the arm down, and there's a peg on the inside of the arm that'll plug into the shoulder. So we'll just rotate it that, and then the peg is right there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And you really want to do, trust me, you really want to do this because this thing's going to, these arms will flop about. Once those are pegged in, you close them up, fold them back to the back of the figure, and then connect them back. Good lord, my cats tonight. I don't know what's wrong with them. They're just kind of kitties. Rotate the, uh, the lower torso around so that you have it lined up. And then this is the hardest part of this, is getting both of these bits. Uh, 
unpegged because that peg is those pegs are tight ah, there we go see as you can see they're actually they're actually plastic that pegs into the crotch of the figure and they're really tight I mean that's a good thing but they are really tight so we'll take the uh, the one foot and rotate it around and then that will allow us to swing this section back up and click it in and then the handlebars are all rubber so they just will roll back into place and then the other side got that backwards we'll fold that up like that we'll bring what is the front of the vehicle and collapse the leg down and this is where I was talking about it's important to rotate the fists because if you don't there's not going to be enough clearance even though I did, I don't think there's going to be enough clearance. Oh, yep, there's plenty of clearance. Yeah, we're good. And I see this is where things usually go wrong for me. Is things just don't want to line up. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to get it back into vehicle mode and just get it back in there. Unfortunately, normally I just get really frustrated with this thing. And I end up just leaving him like this, looking pretty bad and sad, but sometimes I just don't have the patience for it. And that's right now. So, would I pick this up again? Yes, yes I would, just because it's Rekgar. I mean, he, he you gotta have him. He's, he's pretty freaking awesome. Even though I have some personal issues with him, I still can't deny that the figure itself is pretty cool. Just getting him back into vehicle mode is a pain in the butt.